Hey there, Capper Academy. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a design and create a Facebook paid ad campaign so you can get some leads right away. So we're going to go to the left hand side and go all the way down to designs. We're going to create something to post. If you don't have a listing to post already, then we're going to create a design. So you're going to go all the way to the bottom right hand corner and you're going to hit this plus sign and we're going to create a social post. So we're going to click on social and click on next. So now it's going to take us to our design studio and from there we'll be able to create a design. Okay, let's try that again. And from there we'll be able to create our design and then use it in our Facebook ad. Now that we're in our designs, you can see that there's several different designs you can choose from, um, client testimonials, for sale, holiday greetings, just listed, Keller Mortgage, local expert, snapshots. Um, there's so many to choose from. So we're just going to choose home value. So you see here you have an option for Facebook, Instagram, Instagram Stories, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So since this is a Facebook ad, we're just going to choose Facebook. And I like this first one. So we're going to choose this one, hit Use, and it's going to take us to the Design Center. So here you can customize your post or your, your picture that you're going to post with um, with your information. So the first thing you see here up at the top, we have the Keller Williams DBA name. So over on the left hand side where it says logos, you can add down here, you can add in your logos so that you can switch them out. So I clicked on this one and I'm going to switch it out with this one, the Atlanta Partners logo. So I'm going to hit this button here that says replace logo. Well, it's supposed to replace the logo, so let me give that another go. So DBA, we're going to hit replace logo. There you go. Now I'm just going to move it up right there. Looks good right there. So it says, do you know the value of your home? Let's see here. I can actually add in some other text if I want to add in text. Let's say I want to add in some text right here. Here's my text box. Oops, it's not the one I wanted to move. Little text box so I can see. I'm going to stretch that out. And we're going to change this text to say, find out for free because everybody loves something for free. So let me click my box. I'm going to edit. I'm going to pull it out this way. Find out for free. Let's see. Maybe I'll put it over here. No, it's kind of distracting. Trying to decide where I want to put it. Okay, made it smaller. Let's put it down here. How about that? That looks great. Find out for free. Okay, let's say I want to add in my photo. So here we go. There I am. Just going to smush that down a little bit, put it down here. Just so we know who's who. There we go. Um, let's see. You can add images. You can add text. You can add some icons if you wanted to. Some little pictures. 
and here's logos so I'm just gonna put in my team logo as well real quick I'll just put that right there maybe I'll put it up maybe I'll move this let me move this and I'll just set that right there okay and then let's say you wanted to add a listing you can find a listing here or create a snapshot here but that's not what we're doing in this one so oops let's just undo okay there we go all right so i'm happy with this here i am going to hit done i want to save And so here it is right here. So I'm gonna double click on that. Come on. And I'm actually gonna download it. So you can create as many designs as you want, just spend some time just creating some. I'm gonna go ahead and download that as a JPEG. I'm just gonna start that little download right there. And then we're gonna go back to our KW homepage. Now that we have our design, come on. Here we go. All right, so now we have our design. So now let's go back to campaigns on the left. And we're gonna do a paid campaign just to kind of give you an update um, those of you who have have seen my other ads, um, our Rockbridge ad that we did on January 28th, so far we have 37 leads. Oops, didn't mean to click on the leads, but we have 37 leads so far that have been captured um, from that, that post. So there we go, 37 people we can add to our database. So now we're going to create this campaign up at the top right hand corner, hit create a new campaign and we're going to do a paid social ad, paid social ad. Now the campaign name is, I'm going to put home value and no matter what your post is about, always hit attract buyers. Doesn't matter if you're advertising a listing, whatever, whatever, always hit attract buyers, attract buyers. Okay. And our campaign will run on Facebook. Now, you have to have a Facebook business page in order to do a paid Facebook campaign. Your business page has to be linked to your KW command. So if you do not have a, a, a business Facebook page, it will not work. And it has to be linked to command. All right, so now let's set up this campaign. So this name and goal is just the same as before. The name and attract buyers. So we'll save that. No listing selected because we're actually not going to do a listing, but you can add a listing if you wanted to. And if you're going to add a listing, you can go to your listings or all listings if you have permission from another agent. All right. So now we're going to add text. So main copy, the main copy is going to say, find, no, let's say, wondering what your home could sell for in today's market, question mark, question mark. Got a little emoji thing here. Let's, let's put an emoji in here. Let's see, what's the thinking emoji? Hmm. No, that's not the right emoji. 
Let's see. There we go. And then the headline. Now, as you're watching what I'm typing, it shows up over here. So headline is click the link below. No. Click on learn more to get your personal estimate. And then the description. Find out what your home could be. Nope. Find out how much your home could sell for in today's market. Fast, easy, and free. Okay, love it. Add that, add media. So, select media, add image. Let's see, can I drag this up in here? Browse design library. Oh, look at that. Actually, I didn't have to save it. There you go. There we go. Piece of, oops, sorry, let's see. There we go. So there it is, right there. Preview and crop. Yep, looks perfect. Save. <coughs> All right, so now we're gonna configure the ad. So this is selected to my account, and we're going to do my Facebook page. Now, the second most important, important, important thing is to use the Facebook lead generation form. Do not use a site or landing page form because if you go to it, if it redirects to a different site and it says put in your information, they'll physically have to type that information in. If you use a Facebook lead generation form, it will auto suck in their information from their Facebook. So make sure you use the Facebook lead generation form. Now, you have your call to action button. You can learn more, sign up, apply now. I like learn more. It seems less committed to than sign up or apply. And then a follow-up destination. So where is it gonna take them after? So I wanna take them to my website myagentalicia.com and then target add targeting so right now it just says 20 mile radius from Tucker however I want to use custom settings so let's customize I want to target a custom audience Oops. so location I'm gonna choose Tucker because that's where I'm at I'm gonna up the radius to 30 miles I'm, I'm willing to drive a little bit now, expected targeting. Who are we targeting? So let's add an interest. I want to tag people that are interested in home anything. Let's see what we got. Home, home business, home repair, home anything. Clicking all that. Let's say I want anybody that's been searching Zillow. Click that. I want anybody searching, well, did homes.com? Let's see if that comes up. Yep, click that. Um, Realtor.com. Click that. Um, selling. Let's see. Home. No, let's try. Let's see. Hmm. Apartments.com. Click. Let's see what else. 
building. I'm just scrolling to see credits. Credit Karma, Creative Real Estate Investing. Let's see what else. I'm just scrolling to see if anything. FHA Insured Loan. Finance, Financial Services. Ooh, here we go. First time buyer, first time buyer grant, fixer upper. For sale by owner. We got home, home construction, home equity, equity line, all of these home improvement, home insurance, homeowners association, house, house hunting, housing.com. Let's see, anything house wise, interior design, interior design ideas, investment, investing. Let's see, kitchen. Land, houses, land lot, landlord, lease, loan, loan officer, luxury real estate, mortgage broker, mortgage calculator, mortgage insurance, mortgage loans. Anything mortgage, multiple lo listing service. Let's see. Pre qualifying. Property fire finder, property management, property period. Real estate agent, real estate, real estate, real estate. I'm just clicking all the real estate. Real estate, real estate, real estate. Real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate. Real property, refinance, remortgage, rent to own, rent.com, renter's insurance, rent, rent. Let's see, reverse mortgage, yep. Um, okay, I think I'm good. I'm good. Let me see. All right, so I'm going to save this selection. I'm going to save. And budget. So, and duration. So, the earliest it can start is tomorrow, and they recommend at least 10 days. I'm okay with running this a little bit longer, so let's do 17 days. My budget is $30. I usually do $30 at a time. Um, and so I'm going to save. So this is how it looks on Facebook. This is how it looks on Facebook mobile. There you go. So now I'm going to publish this campaign. Yep, that's my card. Boom. So now they're going to publish your ad. It takes about 24 hours for Facebook to approve it. And then you'll see your leads down here as they come in, pending review. So this one we did for five days, got five leads. 15 days, we got 37 leads. This one I didn't do with the, with the right, um, edits like I did the other one. I only got nine from that one. But so far, this one has been working great. We have spent $30, haven't even spent it all yet. Um, so good luck with your Facebook campaigns. Make sure that when you get the leads, you follow up with them. So they'll come into your database already with your phone number and with your email address. So make sure you follow up with your leads. And then also, you'll get your leads on your Kelly app. So if you don't have your Kelly app downloaded, you won't get the alert that you have a lead. So make sure you download Kelly. Make sure you do your Facebook ads. And have a good one.